there it is in all of its glory, Goodwill. Right, so I was actually at this Goodwill just last evening, but I'm coming back because they actually had some pretty cool stuff out for Christmas, and I found probably the coolest t-shirt I've ever grabbed at Goodwill while thrifting um, or even garage selling. It was like this all over print NASCAR shirt. I'll show you guys when I'm back at the house. Um, so I want to see if maybe that same donator left some other stuff and they just um, haven't rolled it out yet on the floor. So hopefully I get lucky and find some other good stuff, but let's see. Okay, so there was nothing new there. They actually had like no new racks since yesterday. So I actually am meeting up for brunch um, with some people, but maybe on the way back, I'll come by and check if they've put out new racks. But yeah, I struck out on this trip for this morning at this Goodwill. Um, I'll try again later. <laughs> on to the next Goodwill. Maybe I'll have some luck here. So I just got done with brunch and on the way back home is a Goodwill, which maybe you can or cannot see, but uh, why not stop by? Cause who knows if they've got good stuff or not. Let's check it out. All right, so that last Goodwill, um, I ended up not picking anything up. I showed two things on the video, um, like a vintage University of San Francisco hoodie and a Carhartt flannel, but I left them there because the Carhartt flannel, I might be able to get like 20 bucks for it, but I would have had to pay five or six and I already have enough winter stuff. So I figured it's not really worth the time to uh, take photos and list it and all that. And then the University of San Francisco hoodie, it was cool, it was vintage, but ultimately I decided to leave it. It was a size small, it was all pilled up, and you know, I, I may have sold it for like 15 or 20 bucks eventually. Like, I don't think that's like a super hot item that people are looking out for. So I just figured I'd leave them there. And usually that Goodwill is like pretty good because it's a nicer area and um, it's on the islands. Um, so they usually have better brands. Um, but yeah, nothing that cool today. So I'm gonna head back to that first Goodwill in hopes that they're putting out some new stuff on the racks because what I found yesterday was just so sick that I have to cross my fingers and hope that there's more good stuff coming from that donor. Um, so we'll check it out. All right, trying this guy again. Maybe they got new racks, I don't know. So the only thing I picked up from that last Goodwill, which was the first Goodwill I went to this morning, was this Supreme hat. I don't know if it's legitimate or not. Or not. I got to look into it. Like the material feels a little cheap and I'm a little worried on the spacing between the lettering. I think it's typically spaced out a little bit more, but I don't know. Like I'm not good with uh, like high end br like brands. Um, the only thing that's got me convinced it might be real is this tag on the inside seems okay. Um, and the lettering and the logo on that seems good. Made in the USA. It is a little sweaty of a hat. I don't know if you can tell. It's got sweat marks everywhere. I do have a, like one of those Bill Buddy things so I can run it through the wash. It's a little worn, but either way, like Supreme Cap, super cool. I've actually found a legit Supreme Cap at um, a Goodwill before and that sold online for about $107 and I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill. So it's definitely possible to find these kind of brands in the thrift that are legit. I just don't know if this one is. So I got to do some YouTubing and some other research and figure out if it is legit. Um, but anyway, I'm at my next location, which is a Salvation Army and I'm gonna call it quits after this one. So I don't know, let's see if I get anything from this stop. Well, got nothing out of that store. A couple cool maybe finds, but ultimately catch and releases, and I will leave them there for someone else. So back home we go. Yeah, so now I'll show you guys why I went to the same Goodwill three times within 24 hours. 
I was actually there yesterday with my mom because she was in town for Thanksgiving. So nothing like a good family thrift, but here's what I found yesterday in the thrift. So they had a cool little Christmas section and I found this really cool Betty Boop um, crew neck. Um, it is on the Betty Boop tag, almost vintage. I think it's uh, 2004 is the trademark date or copyright date. But I just thought it was cool. Um, should sell pretty quick uh, this time of the year, hopefully. Um, I'll probably just list it for 20, 25 bucks. Also found these cool Mickey and Minnie Mouse um, stockings. Um, I saw one of these sold for I think 40 alone, but it was new. So I'll probably just try to sell the pair for like 30 or 40 bucks, uh, but $2 each. So super great steal there. And then here's a <clears throat> Juventus, Juventus, is that how you say the soccer team? I don't know, cool like Adidas windbreaker. Um, I think this was five bucks. Maybe I'll get like 25 or 30 on eBay for it. So that was another solid pickup. But now it's time for the reason why I kept going back to that Goodwill today. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out in my favor, but here is what I found yesterday in that Goodwill. It is in a bag because it honestly smells terrible. I probably need to soak it for like an hour in OxyClean before I wash it. I can already smell it. And this is probably, so this is probably the best shirt I've ever found thrifting. Um, it is super cool. Honestly thought Goodwill took stuff like this out to sell it online but they must have let one slip through the cracks. It is this vintage NASCAR all over print. Um, who is the racer? It is Ernie Irvin or something. But yeah, look at that graphic. It is pretty clean too. Like there's a little bit of a white stain on the back that might come out in the wash. Um, but yeah, made in USA, size large. Um, I saw comps for this online, sold comps on eBay for like 150 best offer, 200 best offer. Um, there are some currently listed anywhere between like 200 and $350, um, like on Grail and Depop. But this one I have to keep for myself for now. I have to wear it a few times before I sell it, if I ever sell it, because this is by far the best shirt I have ever thrifted. And it was so cool to find it at the Goodwill yesterday. It was in the new racks. And that's why today I was like, I'm going back to the new racks because if like this donator donated to any more shirts, it is probably gold, right? Um, but unfortunately that wasn't the case today. Um, but still managed to pick up the Supreme hat. And this is the only thing I picked up between the three thrift stores I went to today. Uh, but no big deal. That's thrifting. Sometimes you hit it big like that shirt and sometimes you just find one of these for every three thrift stores you go to. I'm still looking if it's legit. So I was talking to one of my friends and he said that a lot of times like the fake ones have inconsistencies in the S like where there's a skinny side and a fat side, but this seems to be pretty good. Also you mentioned sometimes the R is flat on the top in the um, fakes, but this one's rounded. So it's looking good so far. Um, and like I said, this tag seems like pretty legit. I'll do a little bit more research before I um, list it. There's one listed right now for I think 30 bucks, but it's in better shape. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the bill buddy, this guy, and I'm gonna run it through the wash and hopefully it cleans out some of these sweat marks. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you for today. Anyway, have a great day. Um, enjoy your holidays. See you on the next video. I'm working on cleaning the shirt and uh, yeah, good thing I gave it a bath early because uh, this, Dirt is just from this shirt. This is an OxyClean bath and it just turned this thing brown. Whoever wore this before, like just never washed it. And I really need to wash my hands now.